<laughs> yeah. yeah. She works for Disney. But I'm going to be talking once again about these alien plant Borg uh, ripoff that are in the new Star Wars High Republic novel. The Star Wars YouTube channel, they have uh, these official little animatics. I've been covering every single one that's come out. I have pirate villains that are just people defending their land. And then you have the plant things. All right. <laughs> well, this is their, you know, new big bad villain. They have... Uh, I don't know. I just, mm. I haven't been to Disneyland in a while. I can ask because we have mutual friends, but she doesn't know shit about Star Wars. Liar! The other, the, the space pirates that are just people defending their home. And then you got this. Now, I actually did a video uh, about a month ago. The link for this is in the description of this video if you want to go check it out. Uh, I don't know. She works at Disneyland. Takeover. It's like, huh, what movie does that remind me of? Oh yeah, the fucking ruins. Uh, I don't know. The only reason she started watching Star Wars is because- there, And then if you touch the plant, it, it gets in you, and they're stuck on this pyramid with this, like, man-eating plant. Stuck on this pyramid with this, like, man-eating plant? Man-eating plant? Uh, they basically ripped off the plot of that uh, horror movie from back back in 2008. I, I don't know. That's the only reason why she covers all of this, because she works there. That is pretty controversial right now, because they... That is pretty controversial right now, because... I, I don't know. That's why everything she says about Star Wars, or at least Disney Star Wars, is going to be positive. That is pretty controversial right now because... They talk about Jedi, Jedi sexy time. But um, I'm just going to, even though I showed this in my previous video, these uh, space evil Sith plants. So, oh yeah, the fucking Borg. Oh yeah, the fucking Borg. Oh yeah, the fucking Borg. That's the... Oh yeah, the fucking Borg. That's... I see her uh, all the time. It's like, oh, they're on a space station and this whole plot is the ripoff of the ruins, but... Obviously, because she's only started watching Star Wars recently. She didn't grow up watching Star Wars. The only reason she started watching Star Wars is because she works for Disney. And so she has to cover, or she has to, you know, watch at least the new Disney stuff. Uh, oh my gosh, what does that remind you of? Oh yeah, fucking Star Trek. Because remember uh, in The Phantom Menace when they say, oh, the Sith have been extinct for a millennia. And, you know, even they're even in complete denial about it when Qui-Gon's like, yo, I faced a fucking Sith Lord. Uh, and they're like, yeah, no, Sith are extinct, dude. Uh, so yeah, huh, but yeah, it's Star Trek. It's a ripoff of Star Trek. I'm sure that they have pesticides in the Star Wars universe. Just call, call up Padme's gardener. Heck, call up any of the gardeners on freaking Naboo. They can take that a fucking flamethrower and set it off and you can kill these things. Give me a fucking break that this is the Jedi's most scariest thing. Oh, at, at the end when it's showing like the galaxy turning all red because of a fucking plant that a gardener could take on. Give me a break. Yeah, let's rip off Star Trek. And you know, if you are skeptical about that, you, you want to know, uh, I wonder where, where did they get this idea for the day? And, uh, you guys, this is just ridiculous. Everything about the High Republic is a complete fucking joke. Or Um, I don't know her exact job. I've just seen her there a lot whenever I used to go. But it was pretty strategic. Pedro Pascal got a movie deal. Gina Carano got let go from Disney Star Wars. So... I was scrolling through my feed and the hashtag cancel Disney plus was trending. It's just completely revealed that you ripped off the plot of a, of a movie from 2008. Great, great job people at Disney. Congratulations. The other night, uh, the news dropped about Disney or excuse me, Lucasfilm, you know, firing Gina Croner. And this popped up in my timeline because Disney promoted it. Promoted it means, you know, kind of like this one, you know, promoted by uh, Truly. So when it's promoted, that means the company paid to have it come up in my timeline. Such a good movie. And it was one of those movies that actually had a colorblind casting 
before it was, like, super woke, and it's like, yeah, we have to have diversity. It's like, this movie was doing fucking diversity before it was even a little check mark on your stupid fucking checklist. So then this person asked, so out of curiosity, who's the Nazi? Weirdo. If you have to ask that, I think that makes you a sympathizer. Uh, this person, ah, yes, asking questions, truly what fascist ideologies are all about. Thanks for the info. So it's like, and this was a great fucking movie. You know, they just got the best ever since I was a little kid. You know, I owned it on VHS, DVD, and I had the soundtrack. I bet you this dumbass didn't know this movie existed. Make any fucking sense that the prince was Asian and his mom was Whoopi Goldberg and his dad was him? Absolutely fucking not. But we didn't care about that. We're not going to support Disney Plus because what they did to Gina. Like fucking clockwork. Guess what? And like the dude from Fly uh, House of Flying Daggers. And now, nowadays, what do you think of Asian dudes? It's like, I, you couldn't even tell these guys were dudes. You know, I didn't have to go to a concentration camp to know that that is not something that you call someone just because they have a different opinion than you on the internet. You know, from the generation that I'm from, which isn't that much older than this kid that's calling me this word. So saying that, you know, equating me to one because I like this movie is beyond fucking insane. Has two daughters and one is clearly, you know, pure black. She's not half black. She's, you know, full black. And the other one, I'm pretty sure this actress was older than Bernadette Peters. Does it make any sense? Absolutely not. I get called a Nazi, but so, uh, usually I would show this up on Twitter, but it turns out this person is just a kid that wants clout, uh, so I'm gonna teach this kid that wants clout a lesson. I'm not gonna give them clout, but I'm still gonna show, excuse me, I had to sneeze, I'm still gonna show the shit that they said, be even other people are calling them out because it's so ridiculous, calling me a Nazi, you know, you get put in a timeout. If you call a Nazi, if you call somebody a Nazi, not a single damn thing happens to you. Because I like a movie that has a colorblind casting. So everyone, I just wanted to make everyone aware of the situation because people shouldn't just be throwing that word around over just because they see someone that they disagree with on the internet. It's not okay. So this weirdo calls me a freaking Nazi because I love this movie and I've loved- I got associated with some of the worst, sickest, vilest creatures to ever walk this planet and that is beyond fucked up until they saw you know it trending for disney plus because disney was promoting this post it's such you know just absolute hypocrisy and i mean you wouldn't be using the word nazi so lightly and just throwing it around lightly if you actually knew what that was children today do not they're not learning history or about a movie i guarantee you you know, a real Nazi would not be happy with this movie, would not be happy with a colorblind casting, would not be happy, not something a Nazi would be okay with. So calling me a Nazi because I love the that, you know, have access to the internet because mommy and daddy is paying their internet bill and mommy and daddy is paying for their phone and they're allowed to go and tweet this shit with no consequences. And for those of you that don't know, if you say the R word, you know, the word retarded or retard on Twitter, you get banned for life. If you misgender someone, you get in trouble. You know, it's just hypocrisy at its finest. So I just wanted to let everyone know and make them aware of the situation because it's not fucking okay to just go around and call somebody a Nazi. He hulk character to make her look like the actual she hulk character because the artist drew her as a man. I got called a Nazi for that. You know, I, I got called a Nazi for defending Gina Carano. 